segments what i really wanted to do is just give y'all shit that helps me in my life because i feel like that's the type of shit i'm supposed to share right but i want to make that kind of a personal experience so i need to know shit about y'all too so i want to like ask some questions i want to feel you guys out and just kind of like offer my perspective if i could and if that doesn't sound like something you're interested in there's a big ass gathering you can attend you know what i'm saying you don't have to listen to my dumb ass for any longer than you already have but for those of you motherfuckers who are interested make some noise in this motherfucker man I'm fucking excited, man. I gotta look at my phone because I'm too nervous. I made notes and shit on the way here. Hold on. Notes, notes, wait, notes. wait, wait, wait. That's your notes, bro? Come on. Hold up. Man. You want paper notes? You gotta throw the notes, dog. You gotta First throw of all, notes. motherfucker. First of all, this is my show. I do what the fuck I want. My nuts hang as many inches as I want them to. And if I want to tee back the stage, I will. This is my nuts hanging right now. I'm gonna do this. You do that. So I need to know first and foremost, who the fuck got a backwood in here? That's my first note. Where's the backwoods at? Who's got a backwood? For real. Because I got dope up here with no backwood, and that's a problem for my homies. We got Mario, dog. We got Mario. Where's the wood at for real? What man? Come on. Where's the woods? Backwood? Oh, shit. Hell yeah. That is what a hero looks like, ladies and gentlemen. He's doing it the Gary way. Give it up for this motherfucker right here. I embarrass myself all the time. It's new for them. They're a little bit nervous up here, you know what I'm saying? But like, I wanted to bring some people up here with me that have dreams. Because I wanted to encourage you, just like I encouraged my homies to follow their fucking dreams. Because dreams is what lead us on this fucking path. If you ain't following a dream, you're lost. Straight up. You might not know you're lost yet, but hey, you know, that's what realizations are. That's what I'm here for with my epiphany shit. Anyhow, I'm moving along this list. I need to know some questions from y'all motherfuckers. Starting with this. Who here is grateful for what they have? All right, so I'm gonna go around and I wanna know what the fuck you're grateful for. Put your hands up if you got something specific you're fucking grateful for. You right there Yo. with the fucking Mario uh, dab ring. Yeah. Okay. Well, life, it's our two year anniversary, 7 17 17. Hell yeah, make some noise for the anniversary. Right now. We got an anniversary in this motherfucker. He's grateful for his girl. Who here is grateful for their partner right now? Who got a badass partner? Yeah! Me too. That's mine right there. I'm proud as fuck of her. I love her. Yeah. That's Lil Tear Deer. If you guys don't know, that's my girl. I fucking love her. She's a dreamer too. She got a dream. She got a couple of them. I suck at this this year. Normally, Light can make fun of me while I suck at this, and then you guys wouldn't even realize how bad I suck at this. Do it, fucker. Give me the loud horn. I'll do it for you. First of all, I got a baby dick. <laughs> Once you say that, it's hard to be nervous after that. I got a baby dick, y'all. It's hard, it's hard to go any further downhill than that. Speaking of shit talk, though, I want to talk about talking shit, because that shit is important. Um, I feel like I have noticed in my life, whenever I talk shit about someone, it is most commonly some shit I'm insecure about in myself. When I find myself hating on another motherfucker, I always be like, well, damn, I kind of do that shit. Yep. Yep. And it's weird because that's where that shit comes from. Your emotions come from inside you. So when you feel hate, there's a part of you attached to that. Your name is on that shit too. It's important 
Also, to be conscious of the fucking energy that you're putting out there all the time. When you're talking shit, you're literally putting shit energy in the air and all around you, and your aura is now doo-doo brown. And you're attracting shit, straight up. But when you actually, instead of looking for shit to talk shit about, if you look for shit to appreciate in people, like look at that ninja's rainbow checkered shirt right there, that shit is fucking fresh. Like, look at that chick's hair, it's blue and fucking red. Who does that? That's fresh as fuck. Like, shit like that. Like, look for beautiful things and look for things to appreciate, and all of a sudden you'll find people appreciating you. All of a sudden people will start to see some shit that's beautiful about you. Because you didn't put shit energy in the air, Look you put beautiful, beautiful energy in the air. And your aura was beautiful. Your aura was diamonds because of that shit. Energy is very important. What's up? We got multiple species in the house tonight. We got Flip here. Flip is here. Live action Flip on this man's shoulder. That rat is badass. Can't rip that shit up. I'm scared to pet him, but I'll use my man's hands. Oh, what a sweetheart. I'm not, I'm, listen, I'm not setting you up to get punched in the face. That's not how my seminar works. This is why I made notes, because this guy might have been getting punched in the face if I didn't have something to talk about. All right, so everybody here should be conscious of something that they're grateful for. Boom. Family. This motherfucker's grateful for family. So the fuck am I? Everybody under this tent right now is my family. Doesn't mean you gotta like me. I got uncles I don't like. I hate them motherfuckers, actually. I got a few people in my family that are annoying as shit. But you know what, though? I still love them. Hey, man, blood isn't always blood. You don't gotta like somebody to love them. That's, an, that's actually something that being a juggalo taught me. Whoop, whoop. Hey, so I wanna know who out here has a dream. Who out here is following a dream right now? I'm is in active pursuit of a dream. I am. Loud Home Jones, what's up? What's your dream? Am. I just moved out of Colorado and I bought eight acres of land and I'm building, on that no first. Listen, I'm, not a I'm building a house for my daughter that I just had who is nine months old right now. And I'm building a tiny home and I'm making an off-grid little paradise for myself. You know That's fucking paper? amazing, dog. And I'm in active pursuit of it. Active fucking pursuit. Man. And I got the whole gathering straight the course, so what's up? Dog, that's, I'm gonna clarify, that's not yeah. having a dream, that's living a dream, brother. Yeah, You're in I'm the fucking that. beginning phases of living a dream. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. That's the Gary way, right there. Whore, I'll be happy. Whore. 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 I know it is. I'm just pronouncing it my way. Whore. Alright, who got a dream for real? Who really got a dream that they're passionate about? Wasteland Warriors flipped up brim. What's up? Um, I'm fucking, I'm in two fucking bands, a ska band and a punk band, and I, homie and I were starting up the label in the next couple of years. Hell yeah, this motherfucker's doing his goddamn thing. Look at him. You, sir, puking rainbows. Do it! Do it! Straight up. You just said it to a whole bunch of motherfuckers that probably know you on Facebook. Don't let him off the hook, motherfuckers. Do not let him off the hook. Word up. Shank, I love you, dog. Everybody make some noise for Shank. That's a real motherfucker right now. That's what a real motherfucker looks like if you haven't seen one. That's one of them. Alright, look. I suck at this, and I'm not gonna front. I'm fucking, I don't know why, I'm so nervous up here. Like, I do this shit all the time. Why are you but nervous? But honestly, after yesterday, like, I'm fucking, like, full of love and, like, excitement. And I'm, like, walking around, like, shaking. Like, I've always been nervous because I didn't feel good enough. I've always been nervous because I felt like I'm ugly or motherfuckers aren't gonna like me or I'm short. Like, I've been able to be nervous because of negative reasons. But I've never been so fucking happy and felt so much love that I was nervous. That I fucking forgot my words or forgot what I was gonna say because I'm so happy. That's brand fucking new for me. That's something I learned here. And fuck it, man, I'm sucking with style. Hey, we got an Oxford. I wanna play it on the same 
you haven't heard. I want to do that for show. Can I get an ox cord up here? With the iPhone dangle, dongle, diddly bop. I just asked for something outrageous so I could get my shit together while they figure it out. They should have had it ready. All right, hold on. We're about to play y'all a song, and then we're about to get back into this shit. This shit is holding me out in front of everybody. Because they had to update their fucking plug. They had to have the fancy pussy on the bottom of their phone. Is that blunt rolled yet? They're working on it. We have a team of specialists. They're working on it. Hell yeah. I'll take a shot to that. Yo, I want to play this shit into the mic out of my phone. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna try it. Do it! Fuck the sound quality! Dongle Oh, and there's a dongle back here. Hold up, hold up. Okay, you can take this one. You're still a hero, though, dog. Word up. Yeah, that's resistance, the walk to wasteland. For those of you who don't know, this is a perfect time for me to clear this up. I put out resistance, the walk to wasteland, to fuck with everyone and make them think it was wasteland. But the fact of the matter is, this is just the walk to Wasteland, baby. This is not the album. That was a mixtape. Yeah. I gave y'all the best fucking mixtape of the year. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. That mixtape plays like an album, yeah. and it's beautiful as fuck. But that was just a gift to get y'all ready for Wasteland. Oh, Wasteland yeah. is not even here yet. Right. I was going to play you something for it, but the fucking universe is hating on me right now, and I don't know why. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions for me? They better be fucking good. Yes. When do we dab it? <laughs> Back to this. You. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> How's it going? She asked what my biggest accomplishment was. Have you ever I'd probably your say, Violent J catching me jacking off. That was probably it. <laughs> Is that something that no one else can really do? That's like, <laughs> you gotta be a special type of disgusting piece of shit to get caught jacking off by the, by your big homie. It's just, you know. What's your biggest failure? Getting caught jacking off by Violent J. <laughs> also my biggest failure. The important thing is for me to talk about that in as many public places as I can, because if I keep that secret to myself, I feel really weird about it. <laughs> so anyone has to know that that happened, it cannot be a secret, because that's when it becomes dirty. It's real. It's real. It's real. Will I ever go back to swag to he asks. I'm gonna clear that up too. The answer to that question is absolutely not. Why? I'm not gonna get into why, but I am gonna say that whoever's on that account posting and getting everybody's hopes up doesn't give a fuck about y'all. I will say that. Because I haven't talked to anyone from the swag tube environment for three fucking years. And they're still trying to do weird shit on the internet. I'm not playing that game. I'm not getting into that swamp. But I will say that what I'm doing is pure and what I'm doing is for y'all. And I'm not letting no sucker shit around me ever again. What was that? Gotta speak up. I don't remember. She said, How old was I when I started music? I don't remember how old I was when I started. I do remember that I was in kindergarten when I started trying to rap. Um, I heard Easy E, and like my name was Eric, and the E was in there, and I was just like, Oh shit. I can call myself E. Yo, it's E. You can't fuck with me. And then I would do that shit by myself. And I told this story on an interview already, so some of y'all heard this shit. But basically, my lunch lady overheard me rapping when I was walking by her window because she lived in my neighborhood. And I was coming to her house because her sons were my homies, and I was coming to knock on the door to see if they could come out and play. And she heard me, like, rapping by the window, like, Yeah, my name is E, and you suck balls. And she fucking was like, Was that you rapping outside? Like, before I could knock on the door, she pulled the door open. She was like, I was like, yo, can your, you know, can your sons come play? And she's like, not until you rap. I was just stuck. So I did my stupid ass rap because I wanted my homies to come out. And then she started doing that shit to me at school all the time. Like I'd come up with my lunch 
And she'd be like, not until you rap. And so I had to think of new shit now. And like, she wasn't letting me get away with taking easy E bars, because she knew that shit already. So I'd be like, yo, my name is E. And she'd be like, look, you need to come up with your own name, dude. Like shit like that. Like she would coach me along the way. And honestly, like my lunch lady is probably like, the divine touch that made sure I made music. Because yeah. I might have just been a dickhead walking around going, we would not my me to this day right now if someone didn't stop me in that path and go, hey, that was dope. So it's important, like I said earlier, when you see something beautiful happening, when you see something dope happening, celebrate that shit. When you see some whack shit happening, don't give that shit no attention. Look for some beautiful shit, straight up. Because you might just magic touch somebody. What is that? Bring that shit up here. That's Bring another thing there. I want to talk Fuck about. Yeah. Who here is sober? Who's, who's sober in this motherfucker? Who here is clean? Who's, who's got clean time in this motherfucker? This guy got six years. I just want to celebrate the motherfuckers that fucking freed themselves from addiction. Because that shit is real as fuck. Now, I'm not saying that if you do drugs, you're an addict or that I'm judging you. I'm not saying none of that shit. What works for one person does not work for everybody. That's why that program is there for the motherfuckers that do need that shit. Like I just want to say, if drugs have stopped you from achieving your dreams, if drinking has made your life unmanageable, like if alcohol and drugs is fucking you up, there's juggalos that can help you through that shit. You don't need that shit. Drinking and smoking weed and fucking doing drugs is not for everybody. It's not for everyone, but it is for some people, and they can do that shit forever and be successful and have fun, but some people fuck around and crash their car. Some people fuck around and slap somebody that they love and can't never undo that shit if you have some drugs and alcohol. So if that's you, I'm just saying there's cool ass motherfuckers in here that ain't doing drugs and they can help you with that shit. Hell yeah! You're not a dork just because drugs don't work for you, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to be that guy. You gotta be you. And I smoke weed like a motherfucker, so I ain't a goddamn preacher, but I'm just saying. Is that blood roll, man? Hey, you ain't preaching nothing but love, bro. Hot spot? Is that a backwood? I can't smoke that, sir. It's against my religion, I'm sorry. But I do appreciate it. I really do. Does anybody up here want to hit a swisher? We got a swisher. Swisher, boys? Yeah, so I want to shout out my homies up here real quick, if I can do that for a second. Can I do that? Yeah. I want to introduce the homies. I should have done that in the beginning, but like I said, this is not what I do. I'm a rapper. I'm not a goddamn motivational speaker. Um, this is my boy right here, DIY Ninja. A lot of people be asking me all the time, hey man, who makes your pants with them patches and shit? Yo man, who be making all that weird ass shit you be wearing? I can never find no shit like that in the store. That's the answer right there, that guy. See that little shithead right there? We got sewing machines and fucking sewing needles and all type of thread. And that's his passion and that's his dream. And he's chasing that motherfucker. So when he seen me at a show, he's like, yo, check out this vest and threw it to me. And it was like everything that I'm interested in in my life on a vest. Like all my interests. Like someone made a vest that was like my soul with everything on it. And like... That's talent, dog. That's not only that's not only fucking skill and talent, but that's like that's like a divine gift. He's got a fucking divine gift. Look at that shit, man. He ain't fucking around. Anybody can go to Hot Topic and buy a fucking voodoo dolls patch and iron that hole on. This motherfucker spends hours and hours doing that shit, and you can't compare to that quality. So if you're looking for some custom shit made, that's your boy right there. He's following his dream. Try to catch up to him. That's DIY Ninja, everybody. You guys know this guy right here? That's DJ Chuck. Let me tell you a cool ass story about that motherfucker right there and why I even know him. I came to the gathering and I got booked at this show, the Reno Riders show. And they were like, yo, we, we really want you to come out and do a set, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I got you, no problem. Thank you for the opportunity. And so I come and I get there and this guy's in there party DJing. And I'm like, man, I want to fucking DJ, man. I'll never have a DJ. So I just said, you know what? I'm just going to ask this fucking guy. What do I got to lose? And I walk up and I'm like, hey, bro, after this shit, you think you can DJ my shit? What'd you say? Fuck yeah. And he was like, fuck yeah. That was it. I just put myself out there and asked, what's he going to say? No, fuck you. I hate you, Ouija. Your pants are too tight. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? 
I can handle that shit. But anyway, he said, yeah. And he fucking freaked that bitch. I never even met him before. This motherfucker killed that show. Best DJ I ever met in my life. Most talented motherfucker I've ever seen. And you know why he was in there? Because he was doing his homie a favor. His homie hit him up and was like, yo, can you DJ this party for me, dog? He was like, yeah, no problem. I got That's you. called Just fate, doing boy. some good hey. shit. Two That's people fate. doing some good shit got put in the same place, and now we're doing extraordinary shit together. Straight up. This motherfucker was following his dreams. He just DJed the main stage of the gathering yesterday. I don't know if you saw that sexy motherfucker up there. Single ladies, suck his dick. Single guys, watch from a distance. Moving right along. This young lady right here that looks like Will I Am's white sister right now with them fire ass glasses on. That's my girl. She's got a dream too. What's her dream? Her dream is designing her own clothes as well. Like That's she's awesome. got so many dope designs. Like when I met her, I saw all of her ideas and shit. And I just, the first thing I asked was, why the fuck are you making this stuff? Why aren't you doing it? Fucking do it. And now she's doing it. She owns her own clothing company. It's called Sad Stripper Society. It's fucking fire. It's so fucking dope. Like, she's fucking killing this shit right now. And for the record, we do have an exclusive amount of Sad Stripper Society shit here. If any girls out there want some fly gear, my girl brought some shit just for a private sale. Just, just if people want to fuck with it, you can if you want to do it. Um, a lot of custom dope shit. I'm going to be over at my merch booth kicking it, and we'll have that shit over there if you're interested. Just come keep it. This guy will be there. This guy will be there with his merch. All my homies with their fucking dreams will be there with me. We'll be just kicking it. Just pull up on this shit. The Gary way. The fucking Gary way. Now look, there's a lot of people in here with dreams, but I want to talk about advanced dreamers right now. Anybody can have a dream. Anybody can think, man, I want to climb Mount Everest naked. Take risks. But you actually have to do that shit. You have to like get, you, and the first step to that shit is making goals. You gotta make goals. If you got a dream, you need like 30 goals, player. You need to start high as fuck and then make the step work, you know what I'm saying? You gotta like create the goals that are necessary. Like someone came up to me yesterday and said that their dream was to be a comedian. They want to be a comedian, they really want to. And I was like, you know what, fucker? If you do it, if you go to an open mic and do comedy, I'll do it. I'll go out somewhere to a club and do it. And then I started thinking to myself, how would I do that? If I wanted to be a comedian, what would I do? Well, I'd probably go to an open mic and tell some jokes there and try to impress the staff and then try to maybe get put on a night show at that open mic club. There's steps to everything. I figured out how to start to be a comedian already. I know the first couple steps. I know how to at least embarrass myself and find out I suck at it. But what I'm saying is, if you have a dream, you can make some goals and you can fucking get there, like straight up. Even if you set a really easily attainable goal and attain that motherfucker, you took the first step already. You're in that bitch. The most important thing to do is for you to like seriously exercise your mind on what you want to do. Like you really have to exercise your mind, you really have to want it, and you really have to try to figure out how. Like you can sit and want something with all of your might, but if you don't try, at least try to figure out how. You ain't gonna do that shit, dog. Very important to have goals. Straight up. Um, and on that note, I wanna know if anybody got goals. Where are your goals at? You, sir. Those, all of those things sound terrifying to me. But you got balls, dog. Like you, you have what it takes to do what you want to do. Obviously, anyone who can sit right there and say, "Hey, man, I'm a drummer. I drum, and if you let me drum on your song, I'll jack off in front of Violent J." That's dedication, dog. You just gotta focus that shit in the right areas. Because what you just offered to do is insane. It would not help your career. But. If you focus that same intensity towards something viable, you're in there, like swimwear, dog. You're doing it. You are a drummer. You do drum. They now just drum dope-ass places. Now figure out the dope-ass places to drum and you're lit. For your dedication. Dedication, fuck yeah. Straight up, man. 
Anybody else? Goals? Where are your goals at? I rescue pigs and I want to get land so I can have my own facility to rescue them and be able to rehabilitate pigs. That's a dream and a goal. She rescues pigs and she's trying to get herself a sanctuary where they can be safe at and she can take care of them motherfuckers. That is doable. That is doable. Like a lot of charities start out, like a lot of charities you think they're just taking the money and just giving it to something. A lot of charities fund themselves. A lot of charities take on money and give some to some that is helping right now and keep some to build the foundation of the greater good that they're doing. But a lot of a lot of charities also just keep that money and buy a Ferrari or whatever. But you can you can do it like what I would call a dirty charity to do something good. And then I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And it's legal. Yeah. You can legally do that. Fucking do that. I'll pull up, I'll do the commercial for the pig sanctuary. Okay. Straight up. I hate pigs to police, but I love pigs to animals. They're so fucking cute. They're cool as hell. And yummy. I don't think it's fair to have a pet one like in an apartment, though. I've been seeing that shit on Instagram. I don't know who the fuck with that. You gotta yeah. walk the hell out of them. Yeah. Thank you, sir. All right, I got some. Uh, I got some entrepreneurial bosses in the house. They're in the crowd, though. I need to get them up here. They got some. We got some extra seats. Is D Town Custom Jewelry in this hey, motherfucker? Hey, what is that motherfucker? Hey, hey, I want the whole team up here. I need them all up here. Boy, is one of those. He wants the fucking squad. Get up there. Everybody give them a hand. This is my boy Parker right here. His dream is everybody's teeth to be shiny, so when the aliens come down, they respect us. You gotta make sure they put some respect on us, and therefore we must have gold, okay? Aliens respect gold, that's another thing you learn from me. But seriously though, I wanna do something really dope. I just wanna celebrate these two people right now. I need both of them to come up here. One of y'all stand right here, and one of y'all stand right here. These two are an American success story, all right? They didn't come from nothing, just like me. They came from absolutely fucking nothing. The world shit on them every step of the way, so much so that they were walking through their lives looking like shit monsters. They were covered in shit. They looked like yetis, but not with hair. They were just covered in shit, just big shit monsters. But you know what happens when you become a shit monster from it raining shit on you your whole life? Eventually, it rains diamonds. And you know who the diamonds stick to? The shit monsters. And all the regular motherfuckers that never got shit on don't catch one fucking diamond because they didn't earn it. Well, these motherfuckers earned every smile that they put on their fucking face. And I want to put a really big one on their face right now. Not only did they navigate a successful business together as two entrepreneurial juggalos showing juggalos that you can succeed in this in any industry that you desire to as a juggalo and fuck who don't like you because you're a juggalo. We're kicking the fucking doors down for juggalos everywhere. They letting us the fuck in, straight up. But not only have they conquered all of that, but they're about to do something very fucking special right now. My man Parker has a question he wants to ask somebody. I'm 
I said fucking, and this is crazy, man. This shit is crazy. And y'all are fucking gay. All right, I knew that was going to be terrible. I didn't know. My dad said crying is for pussies. But I didn't know that motherfucker, so whatever. I cried. Man, we all got emotions. All right, for real, that was the most special shit ever. Does anyone have a Wi-Fi hotspot, or are we all just fucking the whole whole eyes in the area? It's at the RV. I really want to play that song. Bro. If I had service, man. If I had service, there's no service down here. No dude. service. There's absolutely none. Well, then I guess I gotta leak the song. Bro. Yeah. I'll just put that bitch out. Yeah. That's the Gary Way. The cool thing about the Gary Way is the Gary Way is just getting it done, even though life sucks, man. Like, you know, like, your goal will be to get to the top of the hill and fuck it. Man, you're going to get hit by shit on the way <laughs> up to the top of the hill. The Gary Way is showing up with a black eye and showing up. Yo, play it at your merch. It was like almost hot spot at the top of the hill. Hell yeah. 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 Everybody's talking to me at once. I'm going to be real. I didn't internalize any of that. <laughs> if anyone has a hot spot, don't raise your hand. All right, you though. Whatever you want to say, say it. I have a homie that I've been in a factory whenever I bust my ass to get out of debt. Stars, dreams are possible. Sometimes it requires hard work. Secondly, I want to dedicate the Gary way to my homie, Gary Deep. Who cannot be with us today. Who wanted to be with us today. This is for him. To the Gary Way, motherfuckers. Hey, there's a hot spot up the hill. Okay, I got you. But that doesn't help us right here on the stage right now. Sorry, homie. Move it's all good. I'm sorry for fucking false advertising playing a song and then not having the technologies to do it. That's that's the story of me. That's the you story of me. Up. Like a building will be burning down and everyone will be, there'll be like six people looking out the window and I'll be like, I got all y'all. You're all safe. And then I run in that bitch and get burnt and maybe get one person out and be like, fuck, I tried, you know what I'm saying? I did what I could. I did my best. I did it the Gary way. I saved one person and five people got burned. I'm sorry. Hey, at least you saved somebody. But one of them people came out of there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, rest in peace to the four other people in that burning building. We had a moment of silence for them, dog. I feel really bad about this shit. Even them you being tried, in the analogy dog. hurts me. You fucking tried. It's all that matters. I want to give a shout out to Ritz's cousin, even though I stole him and he's my cousin now. That that was Ritz's cousin, but he's mine now. Me and Ritz are working out a custody thing. We're gonna I'll get him on the weekends or something. We'll figure it out. But he's he's my cousin too now. You don't choose your family, your family chooses you. That's my cousin. I can't even tell you why he's successful because the FBI will come in this tent if you find out why he's balling. <laughs> yes. Holy shit, that's so fucking dope. Holy shit, dog. Ouija Mac etched in tombstone. This type of damage don't come on. This shit is about to fall. It's in my bullet hand. I'm about to drop this one. Take this, please. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna find a chain to put that on. That's gonna be my pendant from now on. Yo, no, I want you guys to come back and just fucking plug your shit. Do you guys do this? Is this what you guys do? So get over here. Who's responsible for the stone? Get these fucking juggalos over here. Let's go. What up, homie? What do you do, bro? What do you do? He lays bricks for a living. You got a website where you can do this shit for people, though? Trolls Gathering Stones? Is it a website? Go on Facebook and look up Trolls Gathering Stones. Trolls Gathering Stones. Look that shit up. That shit is fire. You just saw a cool ass one. Imagine what you could get asked into a stone by some juggalos following their dreams. Yeah. The motherfucking Gary way. That shit is fire as fuck. Look at this super villain's pendant, everybody. Hold that shit up. You too could be the proud owner of a fucking dope ass stone pendant. 
I thought it was wood when I saw it yesterday, and I was like, oh, that's cool, that's little that wood. And I was totally sleeping on the magic over the fact that it was made out of stone. What? Hell yeah. <laughs> so now I just know he would tie the string to his nuts and just fucking work out like that. I just know it. I just see him doing it. Sparks hitting the ground when the stone hits the gravel. Have you walked that hill yet, bro? Juggalo cardio this year, man, I swear. There once was a man from the trash. His balls were made out of brass. And in the cold weather, he banged them together and sparks flew out of his ass. Yeah. I feel like I planted a seed by saying the dumbass shit that I said, and then some toxic shit made a tree just fly out from that shit. And that was that tree, dog. Holy fuck. If only all the shit I tried to do went off that well, dog. That was something beautiful that just happened, and I just want to appreciate that, man. That shit was cool as fuck. Make some noise for this guy right now. Go ahead. The question is, what was my outlet when I first started? I, what do you mean by that? The first place I played music live, um, there was a bar in Brooklyn. It wasn't a bar, it was like a, like a really shitty venue that they tried to get people to buy drinks in. <laughs> but basically like... But, no one would buy drinks from that motherfucker. It was a terrible bar. I don't even remember the name of it. The fucking thing is closed now. It got shut down. Uh, Complex bought it and built their offices in it. So now shitty musicians can't get their start there anymore. Because the guys who talk hey, about music a have a fancy musician. office. Hey, man. Not, yeah. But yeah, I feel like a buster because I don't remember the name of the place. But that's crazy. There was a point in time where I would have never forgot the name of that place. But now I remember different shit. Like, not to be a dickhead. That's my first instinct all the time. We got a green cup of some sort. I see an ugly baby on it. That looks like it was modeled after someone very ugly. <laughs> Let me be specific. The detail of this is perfect. It's actually beautiful work. But when you paint an ugly person beautifully, they're still ugly. <laughs> so here I am, y'all, on a dope-ass fucking cup. This is actually really fire. Is this a thermos? Yeah, I, think, I believe it's a thermos, but there's uh, information out of it. It's yours, of course. Fucking A. The person who made it, she, she couldn't be here, but she wanted to, well, my, my buddy right there, she wanted it made for you. Does, and, uh, do they have a business? Yeah. Is this a gentleman with a business? Everybody look up Amber Bell on Facebook. She makes fire ass cups. You can put a picture of your beautiful kids on there instead of me and paint it as an ugly kid. She has a lot of, uh, she does the Junkers card wall. Word up, we'll, we'll do that. Word up. Yo, yeah, this cup is the shit. I'm gonna fill it with stuff that I don't wanna talk about right now. No, it's not pee. Why would you think something like that? It's so weird. Yes, I will sign that for you, but you gotta have a marker because I don't have one. Gonna come in clutch? Gonna come in clutch? Marker, come on, hurry up. Marker. He's got it. He's got it. He's good. I was really trying to hang in there for the mobile hotspot, but it really don't look like it's happening. It's because dude, there's no service down here. Yeah, homie, but just wait till after the seminar. I'm about to end this motherfucker right now, and then we'll do that shit, alright? All right, look, I need y'all to give yourselves a hand right now. Do it. Thank you for sweating in here while I talk about Woo! bullshit. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you a date, but I will tell you that Wasteland is coming. 
with a vengeance. Within a month, within two Wasteland months, three months, this year. by the end of the season, come on, I'm man. I'm not going to clarify, but you know me, dog. When am I ever make y'all wait for anything? Bro, you're making us wait right now. Psychopathic. Right now, come on, dog. See, give them an inch, and then they steal the hand off your butt cheeks, and then you got to fall back. All right, I'll give them an inch, now you got to fall back. Because you gave them an inch, up the hill, and you fucking have that shit playing all night. Have that shit playing all night for us on merch. Hell yeah. Who's got the loudest campsite? <laughs> Who's got the loudest campsite for real? Because I'm going to email them the song and only they can play it at their campsite. That's how we're doing it now. Who's got the most bumping campsite for real? I want to know. I'll go find it. I will go find it on God. Hey, Ouija, you got a 12-inch sub at the Juggalo Recovery site. Yeah. Juggalo Recovery! Hey, the Juggalo Recovery side. Oh, y'all gotta go to Juggalo Recovery to hear this shit. I'm gonna send it to fucking... to Gilgamesh, goddammit. That's a good place. Y'all know Gilgamesh, that guy right there. He doesn't look the same anymore. I don't even know who the fuck that guy is. Don't ever let him get a haircut again. Yeah! Hey, we got... Hey, 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 hey. Shit, I'm sorry about that. I need to put my hands on you again. 10.30 a.m. and midnight. I promised I wouldn't do that. It's all his fault. Sitting there just judging everybody. Fuck this guy, man. Chad's a fucking bitch. What have you done today? I'm doing a seminar. Fuck you. Anyway, I gotta wrap this shit up because other people got seminars and this shit ran long and it's all crazy. But like, if there's anybody that really has something that's burning on their mind that they really need to say, I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna hit. What? She was really mad last night. Hey, guess what? I offered to fly him out here, and he was going through things in his personal life. People are people. I know we're artists, but I can't make somebody feel good. All right? All I could do was offer to fly my boy out here, and he wasn't feeling it. He couldn't do it. And he really wanted to be here. So I'll let him know that while he's really sad that he couldn't be here, that everyone hates him for that, too. All right? Should I do that? Sorry, it was my dream to perform that song here. That was a dream that I was chasing like a motherfucker and I fell on my face. So thank you for pointing that out. Hey, we happened. do fall short. That's another example. Like there was five you people burning in the building up. and fucking Ross Dilliams caught on fire. I'm sorry. He was slow, he didn't want to get out the building. Hey dude, you should just send that song to the yacht club and they can play it when you play yeah. it. Yeah. How about I just send the song to Gilgamesh and he sends it to whoever he wants? You gotta follow, you gotta get the song from him. Fucking harass him. Yo, give me your email though, so I don't get you beat up. I really need to send it to you. One more time. All right, so I'm emailing this guy the song. All right, follow him to his campsite if you want to hear an exclusive Ouija Mac song. I'm emailing it to Gilgamesh. That was the announcement that was made just now. Hey, Anybody Alex, else? Is there anything really that you really got to get off your chest? You and I just want to fucking put some ice on the cake and say, I'm sorry Ross wasn't here. I'm, I'm really sorry for that. Like, fucking Sign myself. the head! Sign the head! You. Yes, I'm doing an album with White. If anyone had that question, fuck yes, that's happening. You'd be surprised how soon that's happening, actually. Light is my brother, in case anyone doesn't know that. That's my boy. I'm, not, I'm also brokenhearted he wasn't at the seminar this year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But shit happens. Um, yes, I will do an album with Light. Yes, I will do a tour with Light. Me and Light got so much shit going on, it's going to be great. For anyone who gives a fuck about that. Why'd you go vegan? I went vegan. I told you guys about this last seminar. I went vegan. For personal reasons, I went vegan because I'm a dick and I wanted to feel better than I do. Um, I didn't care about animals at all. I didn't go vegan to save animals. I went vegan because I honestly believe that there's poison in the meat in this country. <laughs> you ain't lying though, bro. You ain't and lying. I stopped eating meat and I stopped drinking milk and I stopped like eating things that had to be killed and the products of things that are alive. And then I stopped having anxiety and panic attacks as often. Yep. Like I would have anxiety and panic attacks three times a month at best. Like sometimes I would have ten in a month. I've had two this year. Hell yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. 
For the NAAA meetings, the location for Juggles and Recovery is between Shazam and Campbell House. If you follow this tree line, you'll see it. There's a big sign that says it. That's where we'll be bumping it. And the meetings are 10.30 a.m. and midnight here on the grounds for people who wanted a sober space. Word. Thank you. Word up. You heard it. He just told you where to hear an exclusive song never before heard by anyone but me, oh, yeah. actually. Yeah. I'm anxious to share shit? that shit. I'm sorry I couldn't do it in here on these speakers. I tried. Yo, I tried heard that shit. Anybody else? Young man right there. <laughs> Say that again. Yes. Yes, I am. And I will see you there. Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach. Everywhere. Dallas. Hey, you know what? I need everybody that's in here that wants me to go to where they live. There's, there's in my Instagram bio, there's an email from my agent that books my tour. Blow his fucking email up and tell him where you live. All right? Because that will really piss him off and it'll be awesome. But it'll also make sure that I'll be there. One more person. Who is it? I know you got something you're dying to say or ask. I don't want to hold nobody out. If you really want to say something, I love you too. You, sir. I will sign the fake arm, but I don't know whose it is. So you got to do what you got to do. Yes. Oh, that's Jump Steady's arm, bro. Don't fuck with that arm. Dude, I was going to say sign the head. I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry yeah. for all the people I have hurt and peed on, okay? I'm very sorry. Hey, that's R. Kelly's bit. They're great for peed on. Yeah. Yeah. Even though they fucking liked it. <laughs> no, that's an extreme negative. I actually got what is a medical condition called a reverse boner. It's where your dick gets so scared that it boners inward, okay? And it just pokes into your ball sack and your ball sack looks like you have a fork in it for some reason. And it's scary as shit. And then your dick is inside out and it gets all sweaty in there and shit. And when you're walking to the hospital, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> it's called manginitis. I got a severe case of manginitis and I had to get the fuck to the hospital after that. Hey, you didn't get no sand in that shit, did you? So I'm gonna recap some shit. What I'm doing right now is I'm going to end this seminar. I'm going over to Merch, where all my homies that love me and care about me and love y'all and care about y'all will have their shit on display. And if y'all want to come support their shit or come holler at us about something that you do, we would love to support your shit. Let's have a workshop at my Merch booth in 30 minutes. Y'all, whoever wants to come, pull up. All right? We're doing a workshop. I will be there.